Hey challengers, welcome back. We're here in Coach Annika's kitchen. I'm gonna share with you my secret easy guacamole recipe. It's a great way to add healthy fats and who doesn't love guacamole? Why not add more of it into your diet? The avocados are a fantastic fruit. They're packed with healthy monounsaturated fat and quite a bit of fiber actually. But there's so many reasons to eat these things. I know you love it plain over chicken breast. It's a great salad dressing substitution. Just throw some avocado on your salad, a great way to add healthy fats. I personally throw it in my shakes and smoothies every morning. It makes it really creamy, really tasty. Let's get started because I want them to know what is the secret recipe? What's so great about it? So where should we start? The secret is the sim simplicity. So we've got avocado, of course, uh, fresh lime, jalapenos if you like things spicy, those are optional red onion and cilantro and a little bit of sea salt. And that's it, that's really it. Um, but the secret is uh, making a good guac starts with fresh lime juice. Okay. So I'm just gonna take a lime that uh, I'm gonna roll out a little bit just to get the juices flowing in the middle. I'm gonna slice it down the center. I'm gonna have you squeeze the lime juice right into that bowl over there. And I think what's great is you can buy a bunch of limes. I like lime in my water every day, so another mm -hmm. great use for it, but yeah. this is the secret to your guacamole, so yeah. that's good. And not only does it give it good flavor, good fresh citrus flavor, but it actually keeps the guacamole from turning brown as fast. So once we get going there, you just keep squeezing the limes. I'm gonna get going into this onion, chopping the end off, and we'll take the outer peel away. So the red onion I prefer for guacamole because it has a pretty unique flavor when it's raw and it gives a nice color to the otherwise green guacamole. Do you want me to start opening up the sure. avocados? Yep, just okay. go ahead and slice those in half um, around. All right. I'm just finely dicing this red onion so you don't get any huge chunks of it in the guacamole. And like Annika said, we're going to use this for a couple of different things. We're going to put it into um, like a turkey lettuce wrap sandwich. And we're also going to use it as a dip, a healthy dip for vegetable snacks. So I just use half of that red onion for this recipe. We're gonna do half a small red onion with three pretty large avocados, actually. Oh, these are big, but they're perfect. They're perfectly ripe, which is awesome. And one jalapeno that you just saw me dice. So once we get all the, the avocado and uh, onion and, and jalapeno into that bowl, we're gonna, I'm gonna bring some of this fresh cilantro in, which is totally optional. If you don't like cilantro, you don't have to add it to the recipe, but I just like how much freshness it brings to the, to the guacamole and the color. So let's put this onion and jalapeno in there. We don't have to get all of it. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this cilantro. And I'm not too fussy about the, uh, the stock of the cilantro getting in here. So I'm just gonna anchor the tip of my knife on the cutting board and run the knife through some of these thick bunches of cilantro leaves. And that's what we're gonna use. So go ahead and give a few turns of that sea salt over the top of that bowl. And then mash it up with a fork. Kind of helps get the, the avocado nice and creamy. We won't leave too many chunks in there, but that's really about as difficult as a guacamole needs to be. Wow. And this will keep in your refrigerator covered for two or three days. Give it a taste, see what you think. Oh yeah, it tastes amazing. I know you guys are gonna love it. It's gonna be great to add to your nutrition plan. We'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.